up the wholesome roots. Today is a really big day. I not only have my first day with my mentor for the journeyman farmer certification, but I'm also getting my four new goats. Oh my goodness, what is this that just pulled in my driveway? Oh my, what have we done now? Look, new friends. No. New friends. Go on. Go on. You're going to want to get that electric on quick so they'll know it. Right, you can start. Let them get zapped a couple of times. Oh, fancy, that's your nieces. nieces. From your sister. Look at your next Hey, buddy boy. What are you doing? All right, everybody. Come on. Come back. Is that the table? Everybody in it. I don't know how many goes by. And that should be the last time they touch that. <laughs> I knew it was so smart. Now how are you gonna get out? <laughs> Every once in a while they get curious and test it out. Is that a boy? That a boy? That's a boy. That's Eugene. Okay. He's a wet. He's a weather. Oh, okay. So he's just he's just a brush mower. Oh, okay. So this Ruby two, I mean Fancy two, and Eugene are from Ruby. Oh, okay. That one there is hearts. This one here is parsley. And the one back there is rosemary. And this is thyme. And hearts is the half sister to Willow and Bo, and the same age as them. These all came from the same herd that my other Nubians came from. So they are familiar. They are all from a clean herd. That's why we are able to integrate them at such a, um, a 
that's why we're able to integrate them right from the start because we know that it's a clean tested herd and from the same herd our animals came from. And they are getting used to the other goats and that can be hard and they are also getting used to electric fence which is also another challenge that they have to overcome. But they are learning fast and these guys have never had um, fresh forage. So we didn't move our goats to a new area because we knew that these guys needed to have less to graze on so that they could adjust. Time is supposed to be the most skittish of the four. And it's kind of interesting that she's mixing in with the herd more than the other three. The other three are staying together. Bo, that's your sister. Don't get any thoughts. We haven't... <laughs> and the fence is working and they will learn that fast. I've known Hart since she was a baby. It's okay, I'm not an electric fence. She was... She was my little buddy when she was born. She loved to love on me and she was my favorite one. So I was really happy to get a chance to bring her home with me. Luna, what do you think of all this? What do you think of all these big mouths? Huh? Can you tell them to quit talking? Tell them to quit yapping. What do you think, Luna? Huh? What do you think? What are you thinking? Whoever said that bucks aren't friendly? My bucks are the most friendly little beasts there are. The whole time I was taping, they were rubbing against me. And who's behind me? Flubber Nutter. I'm surrounded by bucks. They love their mama. They're good boys. You're such a handsome fella, aren't you, Bo? And Eugene, you're so handsome too. And Bo's just cute. I mean, Flubber Nutter. Yeah. Bo, you stink. You smell like a buck. You're the only one out here that's stinky. All right, I got an important job to do here. I'm gonna take these strawberry plants. I'm gonna spread them out on here. I'm gonna trim off all the yuckiness and I'm gonna jam them into some doTERRA boxes for some special packages I'm sending out. You guys are yelling from a mile away. It's mid-afternoon now and they've been out here all day just getting used to the place. And as soon as they saw me walking through the yard way back there they started screaming again. They were being so quiet. What's so this sweet baby? Daddy? Yeah. Daddy went to go see if he could find you guys some collars. Yeah. He went to go see if he could find you guys some collars. Oh, sweet hearts. Sweet fluff or another. You have to get it on the love. Funny, it's like Hearts remembers me. And she's just more chill about the whole situation. The baby, so it's just a different story. Time. Rosemary and Parsley. Come on, Parsley. Your daddy said that Time was the skittish one. Yes. I'm gonna get some grain tonight when I put you guys away so that I can bribe you. Huh? How about that? That'd be good? Won't that be good? you like that, won't you? Hmm. Hi, Rosemary. We share names. We share names. sweet girl. So Hearts is a bit on the petite side for her age. She is the same age as Bo and Willow. But she is a little bit smaller. She was always a little bit smaller. She was very tiny when she was born. And there's some definite relations in here. I'm trying to remember um, I think yeah, Hearts is 
Reba's baby. Reba is Fancy Girl's sister. So this is Fancy Girl's niece and Bo's cousin. So that's where she's related. And then um, two of these are also Reba's, I think. Or is it one of these? I don't know. I'll, I'll look at the paperwork when I go back inside. Because I am your Look at how handsome yeah. he is. Oh my gosh. He's like a model. If only his horns had been burned off all the way when he was little, he would be the perfect yeah. show goat. You can't be shown that way. Not that I plan on showing, but I seriously consider it sometimes. Yes, right, Fluffers? I think what I'm going to do is have Rowan do some 4-H shows when he's old enough. So funny that they're all out here eating grass. They don't usually eat that much grass. They're like, Mommy, you haven't moved us. We have no choice. It's so cute. You guys are sweet. It's funny because I noticed that Precious and Luna are the most sympathetic to the cries and they have been kind of sticking in with them. Fluffernutter was too earlier. You guys are only crying because I'm out here. You're crying because I'm out here. Yeah. Hearts, you sure are pretty. Yeah. You yeah. sure are pretty, pretty colors. Oh, are you jealous? Yeah. Katie, you jealous? Luna. Luna, love. Hey, baby. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with Luna. I know, weird for the Nubian mom to be obsessed with the Nigerian baby. But she's just so cute. I just wanna... You hear that? She's precious. Chaos, you don't have to bring her away from me, do you? Peanut, why are you eating my shirt? So, I had a really great session with my mentor this morning. We got in four hours and we got to go over a list of all the things that we want to approach in the coming couple of months um, and what we expect to hopefully teach me <laughs> and things that I need help on and things that I can learn more about. So we're pretty excited about it. Um, she was kind of like, you already know all of this, but I don't really know all of it, but she's really great. She has her own business doing goats and she does goat milk sales, pet milk sales, and she does um, soaps that she makes with the goat milk. And she's a very successful businesswoman. So I really hope to learn that side of things from her and we're also going to look at doing some of our own fecal exams and I'm actually really excited about that because I've wanted to anyway so we'll count the parasite load in the goats with a microscope and and look at that and see what we can find and we're going to what was the other thing oh we're going to look at reviewing stuff for milk testing and hopefully starting next year I'll be able to be on milk test which is something that really helps with my herd and my goats and it helps set a standard for other people so if I can get a star on my goats pedigree it'll stay there forever and they'll always have that to look back on as good milk lineage and I already have a lot of stars in a lot of my lineage um, especially this package right here that arrived today. I think they all had a star on their um, lineage. So we have some really good milk lines already and we are working to improve them. I think that's really important when you're breeding animals is to make sure that you are breeding for improvements and to make the breed better than what it was when you began. So when we see really great qualities in animals, those are the ones that we want to breed. 
and get better results than we even started out with. And Willow's a good example of that. She was the offspring of a breeding that was very intentional. Um, her mother, Shady, has great lines and comes from good show goats um, in her lineage. So she's got great confirmation and all that. But who we had her bred to was Honabu Light the Way. And he has incredible milk lines and stars all over the place. So for us to breed those two together resulted in Willow, who's got the best of both worlds. She's got the confirmation and the and the qualities that you expect in a purebred, beautiful Nubian, but she also produces milk really well. So that is just what we needed to do. So that's just some of the things that we're trying to do here and hopefully we'll get to the point where we're going to the farmer's market and we are making sales and we are making this really work as a business. That's what I'm hoping to get out of this mentorship is, is more business knowledge that I need desperately. The new girls still not quite adjusted yet. They'll get there. They have everything they need in here. They've got their food. They've got hay and water. But they hear the other goats in the other, in the other stalls and they're acting like they want to go join them. We'll resituate lodging soon enough, but for tonight and for the time being, for the time being, they're going to stay by themselves but they're really friendly <coughs> gotta get you a new collar hearts I got the others new collars today but I didn't see one her size. She's got this chain for right now. Coming down now, eating their dinner, getting ready to go to bed. So these girls are finally settling down a little bit, eating their dinner. Got their feed and their hay and the water. It'll take a few days and they'll get used to the routine here. Get integrated into the herd. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And have a great night. And as always, thank you for watching Wholesome Roots.